What's going on guys? My name is Steve Schwint and welcome back to another episode of Sweet Sniper Streaks. In this episode I'm going to be giving some tips and strategies for positioning and movement uh, while playing Domination on launch. I feel like launch is probably one of the best sniping maps on Black Ops, uh, mostly because the spawns on this map are very, very predictable. And then uh, based on where the buildings and structures are oriented on the map, you can do some serious damage and get some great lineups on spawns if you know how to take advantage of it and know where to position yourself. So basically, I feel like there's three maybe kind of like three and a half different or common spawn locations on launch. I'm just going to pan over basically the entire map, but on the right side at the very end of the map, that's one of the two most common spawn points. Then here at the center uh, on this far end of the map is uh, probably the third most common spawn point. And then on the very left side at the opposite end of the map is the second or first uh, most common spawn point. Uh, the half sort of spawn point that I mentioned earlier is kind of on the two ramps pointing down to B. Uh, you only get people spawning there if uh, your team is really scattered around throughout the map or if uh, your team is on the opposite middle side. So when I play launch, I basically am just running back and forth between two spots that are looking down or have like the perfect line of sight at each of those two end spawn points. And then as I'm running between the two, like in the middle of the map, that's when I'll sort of try to pick people off across uh, on the opposite middle side. So um, I think that this map is just a great sniping map. And if you sort of know these spawn points and know these great line of sights, you can do some serious damage and possibly get some great like triples or collaterals and uh, just, you know, great sniper montage type of clips as well. So here's an example of me using a PSG-1 with Scout Pro to really try to take advantage of these spawns and do some serious damage. Uh, right there, I put that guy down in a second chance, and then I threw that stun not only to get rid of him, but also to sort of preoccupy his friends who came to help. You know, don't be afraid to take your time. I obviously took mine, uh, putting down my tack insert, threw another stun down, cooked up that grenade, and then right there, I'm just going to pause. When you see a rolling thunder on launch and you're near one of these spawn uh, endpoint locations, you should be thinking triple. You should be thinking, get to my spot, because there's gonna be a group spawn. And that's exactly what happened down there. I got a little bit stir crazy or trigger happy, but uh, you know, calmed down fairly quick and then got those uh, got those three or four different kills. So since I cleared out that spawn, I pretty much knew that the other team would be spawning on the opposite end of the map. So I immediately turn around and start running in that direction. Right here, I'm gonna pause because I missed that ghost guy. And normally I think a lot of people would try to follow him and, and get that kill. But uh, this is one of those moments where I feel like, you know, you just gotta let it go. You, got, you don't wanna follow, play smart, look at your radar and realize where the rest of the other team is. I realized that there are at least three guys coming up through these corridors. So that's the decision that I made. I chose to uh, leave the ghost guy as he was he didn't really know what was going on so as you can see I get another quick three kills it was a pretty good decision I felt like I made so um, you know be patient make smart moves uh, know where the other team is going to be spawning and really try to take advantage of those spots once again my name is T Schwint I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of sweet sniper streaks and thank you all very much for watching